currently uh, powdered fentanyl and its analogs are fairly easy to access uh, from China on the internet. So what's happening is the powder is being illegally imported into Canada and then reprocessed into uh, tablets. The green tablets you see, which are known on the street as uh, Shady 80s, um, Fake Oxy, Greenies, Green Apples. Um, they're being brought in in powder and then through these commercial grade pill presses, which aren't currently regulated, you can then um, mass produce uh, fentanyl tablets. So that's one of the uh, enforcement gaps we see which requires regulation. And then of course, as I mentioned earlier, with uh, China adding fentanyl and its analogs to its control list of substances on October 1st, we want to be proactive in law enforcement, working with our partners in the RCMP and the federal government to regulate the sale of precursors, which can be used in the domestic, you know, domestic manufacturing or synthesizing of fentanyl. Well, regulation, we hope, will keep the uh, precursor chemicals out of the hands of organized criminals that are currently uh, pr profiting um, from the sale of uh, illegal fentanyl. Most drug dealers in our city have access to fentanyl and they are, I guess, diversifying the drugs they sell. So the drug dealers are selling diverse commodities. So they may be selling uh, marijuana, cocaine, ecstasy, and fentanyl. Right. I mean, it's very sad that people in their teens are taking fentanyl, and really they're setting, they're setting themselves up for a life of failure. Because once you get addicted, opioids are some of the hardest drugs you know, to get off of, right? And uh, a lot of people who begin to take fentanyl, they won't get a high after a certain time because their body deliver, um, develops a tolerance. So all they're doing is spending money on fentanyl to avoid getting sick or feeling the effects of withdrawal, which can be very severe. Well, it's very important that we have community support. And um, we can say through Crime Stoppers, through the drug tip line, and other sources of, uh, of information, for example, from people calling the non-emergency line, uh, we're getting tremendous information from the public, which is helping us identify the active traffickers in our city, and obviously through a number of investigative techniques, um, we're gonna be laying charges on individuals. The main point here is that the police cannot arrest their way out of this problem. Um, what we're talking about is a public health crisis when in which we need the community, um, Alberta Health, fully engaged. Because what we need to do is uh, drive down the demand of fentanyl knowing that there is such an abundance of supply. And the only way you can drive down demand is through education, prevention and awareness. And uh, the Calgary Police Service has been educating law enforcement, um, the prosecutors. And last week we actually spent uh, the entire week uh, working with our school resource officers, educating them on the dangers of fentanyl and how to engage students and their parents on this topic.